Here we have uh, with us Andre Tasso and Natalie Day mm -hmm. uh, from Grow Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Um, Andre has just uh, competed and won. Yeah. Um, and Natalie, you're the coach, right? I am, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna um, watch your match. And if you just wanna talk us through as we're watching, uh, that'd be great. Let's do it. Uh, how did you win, first of all? I won by armbar. Armbar? It, it was a very, you know, messy scramble. Threw my leg on top, get the arm, and then you see in a minute, it was quite controversial whether he tapped or not. So if you see it, let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for, for the, the, this match, we're looking at trying to wrestle a bit more. Usually, I don't really wrestle much. I'm usually, you know, I pull guard, you know, I look for legs, arm bars, like this. But this, this, this camp, we focused purely on wrestling. We had a bunch of high-level wrestlers coming in, training with me. Sam Creasy, if you know him, really good MMA fighter, really good wrestler, helped me out on this camp. And at the same time, watching my legs. Yeah, the biggest one for us was watching because leg locks are a thing. Once you have really, really long legs, it's something that the defense just has to get really good. I was quite disappointed um, that he pulled guard because of the amount of wrestling that you've put into this yeah, camp, well, but it is, is, what it it is. is what it is. Um, and then we ended up in this really annoying position here where it's really difficult to get anything going because you're both locked in. Yeah, I think he was trying to go for my legs, I was trying to go for his, but at the same time I was looking to defend and maybe a little, uh, fight the arms a little bit so he can't get any, any sort of lock on my leg. Yeah. And hey, I saw coach, he was like, look behind you, look behind you. So I looked behind and the foot was right there. I was gonna go for the heel hook, but I know I didn't have the, the right. Um, no, but he had to bring in the arm to defend it. So that yes. scores you one point under exactly. the grapple fest, fest rules. Hopefully we can see the tap on this on this camera. Okay, we're coming back up. And I was like, oh, rest wrestle. Oh, he pulled guard. Oh, Never mind. Not again. <laughs> so we go again. <laughs> Passing low, trying to close down all the distances. Don't let him get in. We trained underneath. this a lot, didn't we? We trained this a lot, oh, yeah. trying to keep the legs together, to, to, to knit them together, mermaid passing. Yeah bringing the head to you. It was really difficult to mermaid because his left leg, as you can see right here, was pushing against my chest yeah. the whole time, so I couldn't put him together. And then once again, a little scramble. I went for a straight arm, he turned in, so I locked up the guard and here it is, pulling him in, pulling him in, trying to break the posture. So the opportunity, long legs, incoming, boom. Here we go. Boom, there it is. He tapped. And you saw the arm right there, the right one. Barely saw it, but it was a tap. He kept going, I was like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you had to recover yourself a bit there because yeah, for yeah. you, the match had ended at that point and it had ended for us at that yes. point too. So you bringing your head back in the yeah. game. Resetting, but the crowd are going nuts at this point. The commentator's screaming at me, but he tapped, he tapped, he tapped. Coming in. And then they had to go back for the replay. And he, as you can see, he didn't say anything before the referee went off, right? So he knew in his mind that he tapped, okay? So he was, I think he was just trying to be like, okay, no, look, I didn't tap in the tap. Let me just go off, you know, as Which a little you can, warning. you can understand because, yeah. you know, this is one, this is like a, a, an incredible opportunity to come to Grapple Fest and you're going to do everything to extend that opportunity. And, and also it's in the scramble. These things happen. But his coach just came to me and said, we saw him tap. <laughs> tap. So that yeah, was a tap. That was a go. tap. Thank there you very you much. Flutter thanks for hands. thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, we watched it back. Um, it's pretty definitive. There was a tap. Roar from the crowd. His coaches uh, said it. But like you said, um, it's. I, I guess some people, it's such a big opportunity. It means such a lot that uh, the competitive edge, uh, what do they say? If you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> oh, <of course. laughs> I mean, if I was in a situation, I would do the same, you know, I'm just trying to fight the fight. You know, even if, you tap, even if I tap, I'd be like, you know, make myself look like an idiot, you know? Just keep going, keep going. Cause you, you know, us athletes work so hard to get to this point. Yeah. And a very few selected people managed to get on these big shows, right? And for it to go down this way, 
I can see why he's upset, but at the same time, it is what it is. I think he tapped, and you know, hopefully, you guys have him back because he's a he's a great competitor. Good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and I guess uh, in the heat of the moment, you know, after you're rolling, the adrenaline, it's, uh, of course, uh, you know, um, it's, it's not, it's not the, the best thing in the world to tap and then pretend you didn't. Yeah. Um, but in the heat of the moment, you know, and let's face it, the, the consequences of what he did aren't so severe. No. Everyone saw him tap. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the ref stopped it in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's not like he tapped, you carried on going, and, and then, then he, he like beat, broke your yeah, arm exactly. or something it's like that. Like you know what I mean? And you know what? A, a lot of the time for these kids, because they are kids, they've been training for a really, really long time, but they're 17 years old, right? And a lot of what they do is muscle memory yeah. as well. So sometimes it's not an overly conscious thing. Yeah. So to him, he may be like, oh, I put my hand up because I thought I was going to tap. I, you know what I mean? I yeah. did tap, but in my mind, I didn't really tap because yeah. in, in, you know, in, in the gym, maybe you would have kept going. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And it is just, it is what it is. It is what it is. We don't know what was going through his mind no. as well. Like you said, like maybe he forgot that he tapped. And you know, if, the, if you get uh, to this level, then I don't think you have room for that type of error. You know, like whatever you do to the gym, it doesn't equal to what you would know what happens here. You know, I think some people like to say, you know, what, uh, it's just another role, you know, at the end of the day. I don't think it is, you know, because you have all the crowds, especially in Grapple Fest, you know, everyone shouting at you, your families come to support you, all of your work leading up is done to this moment, right? Yeah. And to me, it's like, kill will be killed. You know, my, that's, that's my mentality, mm -hmm. right? So I'm, when I'm going out, it's, you know, it's not just another match. It's going out, like, it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the last thing. It's the last fight I'm gonna get, and if I don't perform at the level I want, I'm gonna be upset with myself. Okay. Yeah, you know? Andre's so. quite intense. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. The, sorry. And the no, it's no. Don't apologize for it. But the coach beforehand came up to me of, of his opponent and said, "At this age, it's all just fun, isn't it? It's all just experience." And I kind of went, "Yeah," thinking, "But Andre, it's not. This is everything to him. Everything. Like every time he trains, it builds up to these moments because he wants to carve a life." In jiu jitsu, he's a full time athlete, 17 years old. You know, he's in, in an apprenticeship. I don't know any other apprenticeships in the whole of the UK that take an athlete on full time in jiu jitsu. Uh -huh. So, all he does is, is eat, sleep, breathe jiu jitsu. So, this is not just a bit of fun and it's not really just experience either. This is everything. So, um, do you think that in the future that would, um, this experience might, um, might, um, in, uh, encourage you or might make you think I might hold that sub just a little bit longer until you hear the ref stop it. What, what are you supposed are you supposed to wait until the ref stops it? So usually if you're you know a morally right person as soon as the person <laughs> as soon as the referee says stop you know you stop right yeah. I'm not I'm I am mean, not i am fighting like it's, like I said it's either kill or be killed by the end of the day I want nothing but you know wealth and, and love for the, for my opponents. You know, I never really want to intentionally come and help my opponents. Yeah. So I said to coach, like, I should have like this drama isn't gonna happen again because I'm gonna go out if I get that position again, I'm gonna have to snap it. Because I don't wanna go through that again. You know, what if the they were having a bad day and yeah. they, they didn't see that he didn't that he tapped and they were like, Oh no, he didn't tap, keep going. Yeah. You know, I can't afford that. So maybe if you if you held it for like a few seconds more, it's like tap 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 tap, and then let go. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you didn't, then it's a learning curve, isn't it? We spoke about it in the gym about yeah. how we're going to wait for the referee to stop it. But you're watching the video. The, the referee comes low with both hands. It's like it's it looks like a stoppage. So it, yeah. it's all yeah. I guess there's a it could be like a knife edge as well, yeah. right? So it's. I guess that's up to you to mitigate and yeah, uh, you're exactly. the best person to do it, right? Yeah, exactly. I think so. Um, well, Andre and uh, Natalie. Natalie, yeah. <laughs> um, thanks so much for coming to talk to us. Um, Thank you. And uh, we'd love to have you on the show in the future. 100%. Uh, we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, and we'll call it there. Thank yeah, you. Congratulations. Thank you so yeah. much. Cut. <laughs>